What's up guys, Rodrigo Bazato here again and in this lesson I will show you how to create some new uh, sound effects using our library. Um, I already showed to you uh, how we can record uh, sounds uh, in, the, in the real world and change it in the Audacity program. Here uh, it's almost the same process but it's really cool. Let me show you a sound effects uh, special and natural creepy folder we have some very nice uh, sounds here like wave wave effects okay this is, this is very nice to use in your videos logo screens and we have the the beat This is nice. All the sounds um, was created using real sound uh, record. Okay, so what I want uh, to do here, let's uh, take for example 418. Uh, let's take these four tracks. You can choose any of uh, these examples. And let's play a little bit. Let's use our creativity here. And if you play these four tracks, they are not in the same line. So we need to go here and put here the same time. Look in the graphs. Okay. And here in the last one, let's see. Yeah, I don't want this last one. Let's see now. I think it's okay. How we can uh, unify these three tracks? It's easy, okay? Just click here, hold shift button, click here, click here, and I'll go in effect, uh, sorry, track, mix and handle. So we have a new uh, type of sound. Let me eliminate all this area. There is no sound here. Okay. Let me go back in. Okay, here I can cut. And let me zoom in. If you have the scroll of the mouse, you can do this zoom very quickly or go here. Okay. I will double click here, effect, um, reverse. So let's see. Okay, I'm trying to create an, a new sound effect here. Let me uh, put a verb effect. Gverb. Uh, if you have a different values here, just leave 0, 0, 0. Here the room size is 13, reverb time 5, damping 0, 5. This is the value I almost use. Uh, in some case okay so you you see here in the end that we don't have the the the, the final part of this track take a look look how it is so always uh, when I will do a verb I like to have more space here so I don't have that final uh, problem so you just need to click record stop and here you can move it to here double click here make silence in the same process you hold shift click here tracks mix and handle so now you can make a verb double click effects verb okay let's see very good uh, one thing that we can do is the effect change pitch i will try the last 40 okay let's see it's too loud i will change the amplify okay uh, one thing that we can put here Let's see this. 
Well, I think this will work pretty good to compose this effect. Let me have this here and let me see. I will move this a little bit to here. Okay, hold shift, click here, tracks, mix and handle. Let's see. What uh, if I make an echo effect? Echo 0, 0, 0.05, 0 0.5. Okay, I'm not sure if this will be good, but let's hear. Very good. This is a new type uh, of sound effect. Um, what do we, we, we have here is a two too much frontal sound. Let's uh, see a, a new effect here that I believe it's really interesting and you you need to know about the what 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 okay and here for example I have some values here if you have different options for example if you have a, maybe you have this uh, in your program take a preview Okay, if you change this, for example, 0505, if I put this to 20, frequency 20, resonance, I will leave this. Can you hear this? Wow, 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 that's what uh, the name is, wow, wow. Okay, so I, I will leave with these values, you can put in the same values that I'm using here, preview. Okay, and uh, this is nice. If you want more depth, take a look. Okay, uh, the frequency offset, let me just change this a little just to see how it looks because uh, like in an image when you are working in a curve you know in the Photoshop you are correcting the colors here we are correcting the audio okay so there is no secret we have to try different options and see what we have Okay, well, uh, when you work a lot with a, with a program, you almost uh, know what values to use, what works, what not works. Okay. I think now it's very good. I will hit OK. And this is too solid. I need a left-right effect. I think will be good. So I will use the phaser. Okay. Let's see, I will hit OK, I believe it will be good. Very nice. So guys, now we have a, a new sound effects. Of course we have uh, another um, things here that we could uh, use, like equalization. Maybe a bass boost, let me see. But I already showed this uh, equalization in another exercise, how we can create our own curves. So I hope you like it and see you next time. Bye bye.